Over the next 20 years, U.S. demand for electricity will grow by 40%. Where will the additional supply come from? Environmental concerns, energy prices, supply uncertainties, and international relations are prompting our nation to rethink its energy strategy and develop affordable, renewable domestic resources. Resources that won't pollute the air, contribute to global warming, or add to political tensions abroad. I'm Brittany Moore. And I'm Sean Stowe. We've been researching alternative energy resources and the jobs available in the wind power industry. While fossil fuels are limited in supply, dirty to burn, and costly to transport, wind is abundant, clean, and relatively inexpensive to distribute. Wind is the fastest growing alternative energy industry in the country, accounting for 2% of our online power capacity. That's over 40,000 megawatts, enough to power 9 million homes. The U.S. Department of Energy says that a shift to 20% wind energy by the year 2030 would cut our need for natural gas by 50%, for coal by 20%, and our CO2 emissions by an astounding 800 million metric tons. And now Congress is getting behind the idea. It recently devoted $28 billion directly to clean energy, and the movement to reduce fossil fuel subsidies is gaining support. But a smaller carbon footprint and national energy security aren't the only positive that these winds of change have blown in. There's opportunity as well for anyone alert enough to recognize it. Achieving 20% wind power by 2030 would create half a million jobs. For every dozen new wind turbines, a qualified technician will be needed to install, inspect, and maintain them. These are remarkably secure jobs in these turbulent economic times. Jobs that can't be moved out of the country or filled by lower skilled workers. Let's take a closer look at what it's like to be a wind turbine technician. The ideal wind turbine tech is smart, fit, and more than a little adventurous. He or she will need to be safety conscious, communicative, and responsible. If you're going to come to work as a wind turbine technician, you need to be able to use your analytical thinking skills to understand where and when a safe situation or where and when an unsafe situation is and be able to react to it properly. It's very important that they keep themselves safe, they keep their working partner up in the turbine safe, and then they have to understand that they're part of the bottom line for the industry. And so they have to practice safely and wisely. And not everyone is up to the physical demands. You must be able to work outdoors in adverse weather, in tight, confined spaces, and at heights of up to 260 feet. There is a ladder that goes from the bottom of the turbine to the top, and when you get to the top, ready for the job at hand, having a little physical exhaustion going on at the same time, so you need to be able to keep that mental acuity after doing something like that. The job will involve frequent travel, so you will need a valid driver's license and a clean driving record. You should also have an aptitude for mechanical and electrical troubleshooting, be able to follow exact instructions, work well with minimal supervision, and participate as a contributing member of a team. You can begin preparing for a career in wind energy right where you are. Many community colleges and technical schools offer a two-year degree in renewable energy technology with a specialization in wind energy. One-year wind turbine technician certificate programs are also available. In order to succeed, you'll need good reading and math skills. Once enrolled, you'll study electrical, hydraulic, and computer systems, safety, and business operations. Curriculum is divided into three areas primarily, electronics, hydraulics, and the wind turbine program. As part of the class, we took a, the Vestas V15, which is a small commercial wind turbine, uh, took, took the entire gearbox apart, disassembled, looked at the gears, then reassembled it, then we were able to uh, also do some diagnostic with a uh, horoscope. I had an internship with uh, PGE over the summer, and so basically I was quality assurance, so I got to go and inspect the wind turbines as they're being built and after they were built and being commissioned. And so I learned a lot of being able to how to apply what I learned in class and brought it into the field. Within two weeks of starting the program, all the students in the class climbed a commercial wind tower. I think one of the reasons they did that was to see if everybody was physically capable 
of climbing the turbine and also mentally capable. It was really exciting to climb almost 300 feet in the air and just get on top of the nacelle and look down and you're really high up there. It's a lot of fun. Recently we visited the Big Sky Project and it just, was just a phenomenal experience uh, watching these towers being assembled, raised individually by section and then with the nacelle going of course on the top we were able to enter into the nacelles, look at the uh, hydraulics, the motor, the generators, the gearbox, the complete uh, assembly of those units. The type of person that would be able to do this job would be someone who is mechanically inclined, um, who is able to troubleshoot and diagnose some of the problems um, as quickly as possible. In this industry, um, you're going to be working with um, a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds. It, it's going to take somebody that's going to be able to deal with others quite well. It's the best decision I've ever made. I have succeeded in school. I've never really enjoyed it, but honestly, this is the first time I can say that I really enjoy school. I really feel 100% I will enjoy my career. An exciting career in wind energy puts you at the cutting edge of renewable energy technology. If this is the kind of work you can see yourself doing, consider joining the skilled workforce that will support our nation's shift to clean energy. Get started now. Contact your local community college for help in launching your career or learn more by visiting 